What's up guys, Twitchy here. I'm going to be doing a little tutorial today since it's raining outside of how to make your custom logo spin in a 360 angle in one place. And I, what I mean by that, here's a little example I found on YouTube. See that guys? But when you go to Cinema 4D, here's the problem. Yeah. Okay, here's the problem. Go to MoGraph, Motex. The Motex is going to do the same thing as your custom logo. It's going to spin the same way. Okay, look. See how this Motex is spinning? All retarded. You see that? And... I was trying to find this out all last night and I couldn't find out but I found out this morning <clears throat> so you're gonna first you go to Photoshop you use your pen tool of course if you want to put your custom logo on cinema 4d and if you already have did this then you can skip mm, skip on this video until I show the part how to make it spin but if you don't know of course use your pen tool and use each edge of your pinpoint each edge of your logo and mine's is really edgy some of yours is gonna be round or whatever it's gonna be and once you're done doing each little edge of your logo you go to file export pass to illustrator work path click OK I already saved mine so yeah cinema 40 merge you could open a new one but I have lights in my in my window so I wanna make it a little shiny tea okay you gotta merge and find a file where you saved it mines is right here open and leave this how it's supposed to be okay and center this sorry if you can hear the little clicky noise I'm on the laptop um, okay now here is the problem well not the problem basically the solution this is what I really want to do on my logo you see this guys it's spinning the way I want it to spin but the problem is when you add the extrude nerves on your logo I guess it changes it and it, it makes it spin in a different direction and it doesn't spin in the center and of course add your three extrude nerves so path one make sure they're pointing downwards path two and path three okay highlight each one because I want to add some depth to that 200 cap fill a cap radius 3 fill a cap radius 3 and I want to make this one step okay and probably add a little color to this too okay now the rotation part okay this is the simplest thing you ever will learn now okay you just click this little icon click this cross and make it this this is what's moving your little x y arrows okay and you go to your cameras because you are supposed to center this in the middle of your 3D logo like a core of the earth um, and once you're done with that really center this once you're done with that you're basically done you just have to go back to little to this little icon and go to this no go to the rotation and look see that guys 
spinning how I wanted to spin. Never knew it would be so easy. Well, I never knew how to do this until this morning because I was finding tutorials, but there was no tutorial, so I decided to make a tutorial on this. And if this tutorial helps out a lot, then please drop a like on this, guys. But if you think this tutorial is good, um, probably subscribe, guys, because uh, I need some subscribers. Um, hope you like this video, guys. This is Twitchy. And I gotta go. Peace.